And we, so that's where the, uh, the forefront, that's where the hard work is going to be, is on getting our costs down. I, we're the most powerful nation in the world, so I think a statement needs to be made about foreign policy. Uh, Abraham Lincoln has a quote uh, in Springfield, uh, chiseled right across from his museum. It says, we should have a patient confidence in justice. What better hope, or even equal hope, is there in the world? We need to be patient, I believe, with Iran and China. We, there, is, there are forces for democracy and justice within China that are trying to reform that government. I believe if we are patient, we'll get there. Same thing is true with China. I'm going to ask the Democrat candidate for this position is not present, cannot be present. So I'm going to uh, address, ask each candidate to address in two minutes. Um, well, I'll give them each three minutes, I guess. These following question um, that has been uh, devised by the league. I guess I'll ask Mr. Davis first. Please address uh, in the next three minutes the direction you would take toward balancing the federal bu budget, any specific ways you would seek bipartisan solutions to our nation's most pressing problems, and any specific pro proposals you may have to benefit the 13th Congressional District. Thank you, Rachel. First of all, I believe Washington has a spending problem, and we have to address it. We have to put America on a debt repayment plan. Otherwise, we will leave the next generation a country that's worse off than when we received it. It's going to take leadership in Washington to make that happen. We need a sea change in the economic philosophy of what we've seen over the last three and a half years. That sea change means that we don't exponentially grow our spending and add to our national debt to where it's $16 trillion a year. $16 trillion, that's $50,000 for every man, woman, and child in America that we owe. Because the debt hasn't been addressed, it grows every minute of every day. We need leadership in Washington. I've spent my time growing up, working my parents' small business learning and appreciation for how decisions in Washington and Springfield can affect the way they operate and the decisions that they can make. We need to stop the regulatory overreach in Washington. And I am willing to go into details to make sure that we put America on that debt repayment plan, make sure we cut spending in every single department after we go line by line through the federal budget find a waste, fraud, and other savings that we can get out of every single federal agency and put it towards paying down our national debt. It's estimated that in healthcare delivery alone, that a conservative estimate of $70 billion can be saved. Let's also start by repealing and replacing Obamacare, which will save America $2.6 trillion. Let's put the $716 billion back into Medicare for our current beneficiaries. And let's figure out, once we can change the vision of where we are in America right now when it comes to spending proposals to put America on that debt repayment plan, we'll begin the process of not having to borrow $3 billion a day just to do things like pay the interest on the national debt. It's the same thing we have to do in our households, it's the same thing we should do in Congress. I want you to go to my website, electrodney.com, look at my specific proposals for health care, look at my specific proposals for jobs, look at my specific proposals for, for energy. And when you do, I think you'll realize that by working together, I can take my experience for working for Congressman John Shimkus for the last 16 years to Washington and immediately become a leader to address the issues that we know need leadership in Washington, D.C. But I need your help to do that. And when we get there, we can get an America that spends less than it takes in. We can have an America that keeps the peace through strength. And we can have an America that leads the world economically. And again, we should settle for nothing less. Thank you.
done. I'm asking you to address, if you would, the same question, the same time limit, which is, please address in three minutes the direction you would take toward balancing the federal budget, any specific ways that you would seek bipartisan solutions to our nation's most pressing problems, and any specific proposals you may have to benefit the 13th Congressional District. Okay. I would support the Simpson-Bowles Commission plan. Uh, Alan Simpson is a prominent Republican.